Chatbots are an awesome tool for generating more leads from your website or helping out your current customers. So today, we're gonna to show you how to set one up inside of HubSpot. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Adding live chat to your website is an awesome way to generate more leads from your website traffic or just to help out your current customers. But it's sometimes hard to have your team available to answer all of those live chat requests. And that's where chatbots really come in handy. So let's jump in here and show you how to set up a really simple uh, HubSpot chatbot. So you do that inside of the chat flows tool. And to get here, you're gonna go to conversations and chat flows. You can see we've got one in here right now, but we've got that turned off. So we're gonna create a new one by going to create chat flow. And we're gonna do this one on our website. And the chat flow that we're gonna to create today is gonna to help us book meetings. But you can see there's a couple different kinds that you can set up here. So this first option isn't actually a chat bot, that's just to add live chat to the website. These options down here are gonna be the actual chat bots that automate those conversations. So you can do them to qualify leads, book meetings, or if you've got the HubSpot support, uh, support package, which we don't on this particular portal, um, you can, uh, have them create tickets or direct them to knowledge base articles. So for our uh, example here, we're going to use the chat bot to have people book meetings. So we're going to click this book meetings bot. And the first thing you're going to do is select a meetings link. So you will have to already have a meetings link created. We do have a video that shows you how to create a meetings link if you want to look at that. So we're going to pick this, um, we're going to have a book a meeting with Brandy here. So once you have your meetings link picked, you're just gonna hit next. And this is gonna be the interface where you actually create your bot. So you're gonna see they've already pre-populated quite a bit in here for us. The first thing that I recommend that you do is update the name. So I'm just gonna say book meeting with Brandy. It's not a, a, a prompt to do that, so I always recommend doing that first, because otherwise it's pretty easy to forget. So once you've updated the name, you're going to want to see if the um, kind of pre-made settings that HubSpot gives you is good enough for you, or if you want to edit any of these. So I do see a couple things that I want to edit here. The first thing I want to edit is I want to make sure that the welcome message that people see when they get to our website actually makes sense. So this has got any questions. Well, if they're asking questions, it's going to be weird if the next thing that we send them is this, um, I'm happy to get uh, help you set up a meeting here. So I'm gonna change this to something a little bit more relevant. So I'm gonna say, would you like to talk with our team? Um, and then we're gonna have that be the same for desktop and mobile. Um, and we're gonna have this stay checked for this pop open the welcome message as a prompt. So when they get to our website, what they'll see is this, would you like to talk with our team message here? So I'm gonna save that. And you can see that it doesn't always update in real time. So just keep an eye out for that. If you're ever curious about whether it's saved, you can just click into it again um, and see the message that's there. So it's good and saved. It's just not showing up on the front end. If we refresh the page, this would change um, to show the new message. So now the second message, I'll be happy to set up a meeting. That makes sense. It's going to ask their contact name. We want them to do that. Then it's going to ask for their email. Um, I also like to ask for a phone number. When we do our meeting links, we actually give them a Zoom link, but not everybody sees that. And so sometimes people sit around kind of waiting for you to call. So I always ask, uh, like to ask for a phone number here. So we're going to ask a custom question here. And the name of the action is just an internal thing. They don't see that, so you can say um, whatever you want here. So we're gonna actually call this get phone number. So just a simple message there asking for their phone number. And then at the bottom here, it asks if you wanna save this to a HubSpot property. So we will go ahead and save it to their phone number property. That way it stays saved in our CRM. And you can skip this action if the property already exists. Uh, for something this important, we may have a, an old phone number or something like that in there. So let's go ahead and leave this unchecked. We wanna make sure that we ask that and then you can customize the error message if you want. We will leave it the same. All right, so now we've added that question. 
and all of the other HubSpot settings that are set up in here are just fine for us. So that's all we need to do to edit the actual chatbot itself. If you want to, you can get pretty complicated in here. You can add um, like if then branches, you can add more actions, but for now we're gonna leave that the same. All right, so once you have all of these the way that you want them, the next thing you're want, gonna wanna do is click on this Who tab over here on the left-hand side. And this is gonna be where you decide who you want to actually be able to interact with this chatbot. So you can choose everyone, uh, only people who are anonymous, so people who you aren't currently tracking or don't have in your CRM, um, people who you are tracking with HubSpot, so they've got a cookie downloaded, um, or you can also pick segmented lists, and you can also choose to hide the chat flow from certain lists. So for for our sake here, we're just gonna choose everyone and we're gonna go ahead and move on to win. So this win tab, so this is, it's a little bit confusing. I like to think about the win tab is actually a where tab. So this is where on your website the chat flow is going to actually show up. So this is just a test for us. So we're going to make it, so it just shows up with a query parameter um, and I'm just gonna make one up here. But you can select specific pages. You can use a wildcard token, an asterisk, um, so that you can do things like just on your blog, subdomain. You can get pretty complicated here, but we're gonna keep it simple and um, just show up if we've got this chat parameter set to yes so that we can do our testing here. And then once that's done, you've got some options here. So you can select the heading, you can change the little avatar photo that pops up. Um, we're gonna change this from Hubbot, we'll call it Hackspot for on here. Um, this typing delay between messages, so I like to leave this uh, as based on the length of the messages, just kind of makes it seem a little bit more realistic for the user. Um, we're going to leave the timeout for a day here, and then if there is an error, um, you can customize this error message. I like the one that's pre-populated, so we're going to leave that one in here as well. Uh, we're going to leave ours to English. And for our sake, we're gonna make this for make, make this appear um, at any time, but you can change this to only during business hours uh, if you want the chatbot to not show up outside of those business hours. We're gonna leave it show always. Um, and then you can always do your data privacy consents, your GDPR stuff. Um, for our sake today, we're gonna leave this the same and we're gonna save it. And then once it's saved, you can preview it. So this is actually what it's gonna look like on the website. It'll pop up this, would you like to talk with our team? And then um, that second message that we have in the chat flow, once you actually put your name in here or the, the visitor puts your name in here, it'll keep progressing. So the next is it's gonna ask for our email. So we're just gonna give it a fake email. And it's gonna ask for the phone number because we put that in there. And the rest of this is gonna be based on whatever meeting link you picked. So the meeting link we picked has a 15 minute or a 30 minute option, so we'll go 15 minutes. And then it's gonna give you um, some days. If you've got a whole lot of days, if your availability is, is kind of spread out, it will give you the um, kind of the next few days that, that work, and then you can choose another day if your availability on your meeting link extends beyond that. So we'll just do November 18th. And then the last thing will be a time. So really easy process here. I'm not gonna click done because I don't actually want to, uh, don't want to set up a meeting with Brandy. Uh, she'll be calling me wondering what, to, what we're meeting about. Um, but you would click done and then that person would go ahead and get the meeting invites um, and Brandy would have this time booked up in her calendar. So a really slick way to set up meetings with the people um, on your team for the visitors on your website. So uh, once you're all done, all you have to do is click this little toggle switch and that turns it on. You'll see a little saved message come up and then you can click back to chat flows and you can see it here. So book meeting with Brandy is the chat flow we just created. We can see that it's a bot and that it is turned on. So that's all there is to it. Super simple to set up a HubSpot chat bot. For more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how to's, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if there's something you'd like us to cover in a future HubSpot hacks, go ahead and leave them in those comments below.